Hey there, my name is Chris Calabro, and in this video I'm going to show you how to install and do a little bit of customization on this free Modic landing page template called LP1. Now, after you download the free theme, you'll get this LP1.zip file. So, to install the theme, what you're going to do is head over to your Modic dashboard, we're going to go to the settings area, go to themes. From here, you'll be able to choose a file to install. So you're going to select that zip file and hit install. And you'll see a notice here, it's been installed. And if you look in your list of themes here, you'll see the theme name. And you'll also note that this theme includes page and form components, but no email component. So let's get started and take a look. I'll head over to Components, Landing Pages. And let's make a new landing page. I'll choose LP1 and open up the builder. So one of the first things you'll notice is that um, because I'm working on a smaller laptop screen here, the page is actually showing in a responsive mode for a tablet. So um, it's broken down things into a single column layout. So if I just zoom out a bit here, you'll see that it's actually a two-column layout with, um, obviously, responsiveness. So in case you didn't notice here, this theme, for those of you who are familiar with Bootstrap, this theme is built on Bootstrap, so um, you can make little changes or add you know, Bootstrap buttons or anything like that using code mode or, or using the code editor, using your text editor. But for everyone else, I'm going to show you how to make some basic customizations. So, first of all, we have a bunch of different sections. So we have this header section here. Second section, you can see we have this orange outline here. Each of these is its own section. And what that means is that you can click the little X to delete it entirely, or you can move sections by dragging here. So if you wanted to move this up or down, uh, you could stick that underneath there. It's super easy. And then the other thing to know about these sections is that you can change the background color. So obviously this one is an image. And because the current form of the Modic Builder does not allow you to easily change background images, this isn't something that you can do without modifying the theme file. So I'm going to give, I'm going to create another video on how to do this. Um, but for now, we're just going to work with the default background image here. So if you come down here and you try to change the wrapper background, you'll see it, it doesn't do anything. Um, that's because it has an image background. But if you come down here to this section, you can put whatever background color you want. And that works with all of these other sections that are not images. So uh, that's kind of an overview of the sections. Each of these is its own section, and um, and you can change the background color, except for the ones that are images, obviously. And again, I'll show you how to change those in a, another video. So, again, you have sections you can work with, and then you have actual slots. So, as I hover over here, you can see each of these is an area that you can edit using the customized slot. Here we have an image, you know, another image. Um, text, and you can come right in here and just say whatever you want. And obviously that just updates immediately. And you can, of course, also drag in your own slots. So if I wanted to put some, some text above this image, or if I wanted to delete the image and just go with text instead, obviously I could do that as well. Um, now, one of the main things you'll probably want to do if you're working with a landing page is um, add your own form. So aside from adding and deleting text and, and putting your own images in here, what I've done is I've created a form style that really matches quite nicely with the landing page itself. And I've given you a little hint. Here this text slot says add your modic form here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a modic form briefly. Now for some of you this may be a bit basic, um, but I'm going to show you how to do it anyway, and then we're going to come back in here and add our form. So I'm going to cancel out of this landing page. 
go over to forms and create a new form. And we're just going to make this a standalone form. I'm going to call this test form. And for the purposes of this demo, I'm just going to give us a few different fields. We'll just say first name and map this to first name. And then we will also add an email field. I'll call this email address and that should automatically pick up. All right, so we have a first name, email, and we have a submit button. And the last thing, and this is important, is you have to choose the theme here. So what you gotta do is choose a theme and we're looking for LP1, okay? If you choose it, you can, you can choose a different theme, um, but the LP1 theme is designed to uh, match the styles of the landing page. So we have the form, I'll hit save and close. And then head back to landing pages. And let's again open up a new landing page using the LP1 theme. And we'll scroll down here where it says add your modic form here. And you'll notice it doesn't seem like there's any text here. It's just because the text is actually white. So if I highlight over, you can see the text is here. Or if I drop into code view, you can see it there. So what I'm going to do is use the insert token option to insert my test form. And I'm actually going to just delete that extra text. And we don't need the paragraph tag either. All we need is that form token. And obviously it doesn't show up here. That won't show up until you actually save and close the landing page. So instead of making any other modifications, obviously you'd be making other changes. Um, I'm just going to save and close. We'll give this a title, test landing page, and we'll save and close. And when we open up the page, you'll see here we have the all the default stuff in the landing page, except here we have a form that really matches quite nicely with the rest of the theme. So for example, you'll notice the style of this button, white with a little bit of a gray hover, matches right here. And if you really want to make it look the same, you could even come in here and, and make your form button all uppercase letters. But anyway, that's a quick overview of getting started with this free landing page theme for Modic, and I look forward to seeing what you create.